Hello, thank you for joining Raspi PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker, uh, and in this tutorial, we're going to look at import. Um, I have covered videos where I import, say, the timeline uh, library or the OS library, and I've covered some functions about them, uh, but I've not covered anything on ways that you can import libraries. Um, so that's why I'm doing this now. Um, so let's just bring up my Python IDLA shell window. And now if I call the help command, which I've done a video on, and pass in import, uh, notice how it changes colour because it is um, an actual command that you can use. Press enter and we get an uh, invalid syntax, um, which you could be quite surprised because it is an inbuilt command. Um, but um, if you pass nothing into the help, you get the interactive utility. So check out the playlist for more information on that. Um, but now if I pass in um, import, now we get the documentation because we're doing it through the actual utility. Uh, if I scroll down, uh, there's a lot of information on how you can do stuff, um, but we want to look at these examples here. Um, and we're gonna work um, and do something similar to these, but not importing foo. Um, we're going to play around with the time library um, because everybody has used or going to use as part of um, setting an LED to come on for so many seconds or whichever. Um, so let us bring up a clean window so we can bring that up. Um, <clears throat> now if I pass nothing into directory it will give us what we have running uh, as part of this interactive shell for commands etc um, but if we import time now uh, and if we pass uh, call the directory again you see that we get the time added on to the end um, but if we call directory um, of time so we'll look at the functions etc as part of the time library um, we get all this information um, so we can use these functions as part of um, the code that we're, we're going to do. Um, like I say, we're going to look at the sleep command um, just as as an example. Um, so let us just get back to there. So if we want, um, so say we've got a, an LED connected and we want to sleep for two seconds because we've imported time, we need to call to get it to do that. Time dot sleep, and then pass in say two seconds as an example. And when I press enter, uh, I won't get my cursor back until two seconds has passed. And there we go, if we get his cursor back. So that is one way that you can call, uh, sorry, import a library and use the function as part of it. Uh, if I control F6, I get a restarted shell. And if I do the directory, you see that I don't have uh, the time library uh, functionality now. Um, so another way that you can do it, and this, some people say it's frowned upon um, because it's you could be importing something that you don't necessarily want to import that could be possibly dodgy um, if it's a, an external uh, library that you've installed using pip or however other means. Um, but this is a way that you can do stuff. Um, me personally, um, if I have created a, um, a um, a say a settings.py file um, I can inst I can pull everything in because I know because I've done that code and I know what's in there um, so there we go so anyhow uh, we can call from time import and then star um, and this will pull everything in there um, but now if I do the directory of time um, I don't get all these um, functions etc like so. Now if I pass in directory on its own we do get them because um, we imported it so we didn't actually pull time we selected from time but pulled everything that's actually inside it um, so that's why we get the functions here so now if I want to do that LED to uh, light up for two seconds I would pass sleep and two seconds and then two seconds later we get our cursor back like so. 
So that's another way that you can do it. Um, let's bring up a another Python shell window um, just to make it look a bit cleaner. Um, so we've covered import in the actual um, library. Um, we've done a way of importing star. Um, so let us do another way. So if I from um, time import sleep so I can actually just pull that um, function that I want to use. Uh, now if I call the directory you'll see that we get the sleep added on at the end um, and now I can just call sleep um, <laughs> whoops um, and there we go we've sleeping well we're sleeping for two seconds and then we get his cursor back um, provided you uh, type it out correctly um, so that is another way that you can uh, get it to do it um, if I just clear the shell so I've restarted it um, so we could uh, do it this way so from um, time import sleep and we can set it as an actual variable if we wish as s so that's worked we've got no syntax error uh, and if I call the directory you'll see that we get s and if I pass in um, no, I'll just go for the sleep. So we're going to sleep for two seconds and I'll get my cursor back. There we go, after two seconds. Um, I was going to do the directory of S, but you won't see anything that you can actually uh, use. Um, so that's why I didn't bother. Um, I can do the similar sort of uh, situation if I clear my shell. So I can call import time as t if I wanted to um, and now if I do directory you'll see that I get all the built-in etc information but you get this t uh, which is our personal variable and if I call the directory of t you'll see that we get all the functionality just like we did um, when we this window um, imported time you get all of the built-in information um, so just bringing that back um, so now if I want to do the uh, sleep I would say t dot sleep and pass in the two seconds to get our cursor back like so there we go so that's another way that you could do it um, and you could uh, I think that's it pretty much um, so I've covered um, pull in the actual library itself um, I've used the way that some people uh, dislike doing um, but if it's your own um, library that you you've created or your own code um, then you could do it this way um, like I say it's uh, opinions more than anything um, and there's this window uh, where we are from time pulling the sleep function and we can just call the sleep or we can pull the sleep but set it as a, an actual variable or if you want to have all the functions you could set that as a, a variable rather than putting um, time dot sleep etc um, as part of your code so there we go some functions on how to import and use the from um, and set them as variables um, if you've enjoyed this video or found it um, informative um, please like um, and if there's somebody that you know that might benefit from my videos please share um, and I'll catch you in the next one thank you for watching